And today, I'm going to build a machine learning natural language processing model in less than seven minutes and show you how it works. We're a natural language processing machine learning company that strives to unlock the value of your qualitative textual data. We're backed by Goldman Sachs and Tomasek. And something like 25% of the world's GCIBs use us, including Goldman, Bank of America, ING, as well as tier one insurance companies like Hiscox uh, and law firms like Allen Overy. So instead of me talking all about it, let's show you. So the power of Eigen is, is this vision that any user in any organization can take any document and ask it any question within a matter of minutes or hours. So I literally start with a blank slate. It's like a magician, you know, nothing here to see, right? Literally, no documents, no questions, nothing. And what I'm going to teach the machine today are syndicated loans. I'm sure many of you have seen these before. They're fairly uh, nicely negotiated. This one's by Deutsche Bank, written by Freshfield. This one looks completely different. It should by Royal Bank of Scotland, written by Osborne Clark. All public, just to, just to be clear here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload those two loan documents into the platform, and we're going to start teaching the machine uh, how to uh, read these documents. So these are, these are large documents. It takes a little bit of time to load. Um, not sure what's going on with the Wi-Fi here. Oh, great. So what are some of the questions that I might want to ask? Well, I might want to know, uh, for example, uh, what's the transfer fee? Uh, so I'm buying or selling a loan. I might want to know how much, uh, what's my transfer fee. I can literally ask any question. So another question I might want to know, which is uh, very pertinent today, is the base rate. Is it LIBOR? Is it Euribor? Is it Bank of England? And another question I might want to know, and literally I can ask any question, is around something around consent requirements. So that's a section extraction. So I'm going to be pulling out you know, a more sort of complicated uh, sort of clause. And let's get started. So literally, I've, I've said I'm going to ask three questions Started for completely from a blank slate, and now we're going to start teaching the machine how to analyze uh, these documents. So transfer fee here, I'm just going to use Control F to find out what a transfer fee here is. I'm literally highlighting and teaching the machine the same way an analyst uh, might be teaching, uh, the same way you might be telling an analyst, highlighting the right answer, saying, here, why don't you learn how to do it? So let me just load the next document. Um, again, these are you know, several hundred page documents. Transfer fee. $3,000. I move on to the next question. That is, so the point is any user can actually use machine learning. You, know, this is, you don't need to be you know, a data scientist uh, to be able to leverage machine learning. Uh, here, I'm going to teach you LIBOR and Eurobor. And now, I, I recognize this is a little bit repetitive. However, this is a complete live demonstration. I literally started from scratch. So the next thing I'm going to teach it is a slightly longer provision around borrower consent rights. So for example, in the LIBOR transition, if you want to change your base rate, uh, you might need to get consent from the borrowers. You can't just sort of change it willy-nilly. So again, great. So now I've taught the machine on two documents across these three questions. That's all I need to do. You know, there's nothing fancy here, very simple. Now I'm going to create a model. I'm going to say, hey, look, I'm going to start building these machine learning models on these three questions. Right? The, 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 our platform will automatically start generating the models on how to answer the question. It's effectively reverse engineering the logic between the answer and a document. I can also ask another type of question. So let's say I want to understand what is the currency I need to pay uh, for, for a transfer fee. And in fact, maybe I want to know, is it a pound uh, or is it pounds? So I want to know, is the transfer fee in pounds, for example? And that's another type of question. I call it a logic question. And I can basically say, hey, look, if the transfer fee answer contains a pound sign or the transfer fee contains GBP, the end, the answer is yes. So I can build actually extremely complicated logic tree like cross default or this majority bar consent required, um, et cetera, on the platform. And that's all it takes for me to start. Uh, that's all it takes for me to start teaching the machine. I'm going to let the uh, machine finish teaching uh, the answers. Okay, great. It's now built 
six machine learning models. I mean, sorry, it's now built th the three machine learning models. Now I'm going to upload those documents, six documents that the machine has never seen before. And so just to recap what I've done, I've said, hey, look, I, there are these three, these four questions I want to answer from the platform. I'm now going to uh, teach the machine a couple of different examples. And now I'm going to run a couple more examples of the documents that the machine has never seen before and see how it does. Great, fantastic. So I'm going to say, hey, look, I'm going to select all the examples. I'm going to create a new analysis. I'm going to create a new analysis. I'm going to call it A1. I'm going to run the analysis. So what the machine is now doing is that it is now starting to pull together the answers based on my learning model. Now remember, the top two rows are basically the examples that I've given it. And the machine will now start to populate the rest of the, of the data table. Now, I can do this with any document. We've seen use cases in the back office around loan operations, library transition, Dodd-Frank regulation report, regulatory reporting, as well as front office use cases in asset-backed securities and securitization. So literally any document, that's our vision, right? Any document, any, any question, and any one. And you can see, Within a matter of literally less than seven minutes, I've now populated a full entire table that you can use. You can export via API. And just to show you very quickly, finally, you, you have a library of literally any type of document that you will want to see. And this is why over 25% of the world's GSIBs use us. If you're interested, please come see our stand. Thank you.